Spare a thought for that man, Mahala Jal Wardner. What an amazing innings he played for Sri Lanka. Terrific hundred himself to give his team every bit of hope to win this World Cup. But it wasn't to be. It wasn't their night. It was India's night, and it's India's World Cup. It's disappointment. I mean, you lose a World Cup. Uh, you, you, you can't have fond memories. I mean, it would have been brilliant if you had finished off with a win. Uh, but the, when you then go through the whole World Cup of, of the process and all that, uh, it's very satisfying purely because the campaign, uh, the planning, which we started like few months before getting the right squad um, players, uh, there's a lot of planning involved. Um, credit to, to Aravind and the selectors who, who went through that whole process with us. And um, we executed a very good World Cup. I mean, each and every game was <clears throat> played really well and was a home World Cup for us. We played most of our matches in Sri Lanka. And then, um, yeah, the finals was a disappointment. Uh, but overall, it was a great campaign. The experience was phenomenal for us. Um, playing in front of home fans because Sri Lankan fans are amazing. I think, you know, the atmosphere that they bring. Something's unique, I think, you know, it's just, it's something special and um, thoroughly enjoyed that uh, whole uh, environment because like it's just not on the field like off the field during a World Cup wherever you go wherever you visit it's just all cricket fever and, and um, it's amazing. I think the atmosphere is the same I think when you have I think the capacity there is about 60,000 and, and uh, um, it's always full for a, whether it's for a franchise game or, or Indian game I think and it's a very <clears throat> unique stadium where the fans are very close to the the playing lines you know it's just right next to it so when they start screaming and shouting um, it is it is a great atmosphere I still remember the 2011 final when we were going down for warm-ups it was just one noise of Sachin 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 and all that because he's from Mumbai and that was his last World Cup. It was loud. It was loud, and it, 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 it. I mean, because we had played cricket and had the experience, it would have been good. But for some of the younger guys who were playing in their first World Cup final, that definitely would have been quite intimidating. Goes offside. Save your legs, Mihaila Jayawardena. A high-class innings from a high-class player. It's probably one of my best innings, uh, given uh, it was a World Cup final, playing in India, against India, in that whole uh, environment. So, personally, it was it was special. And uh, when I go through that innings over and over again, I think, you know, I probably wouldn't have played a better innings than that. Um, the tempo, the execution, the game plan that I had in my head, and that game situation, um, all that, uh, it was like, uh, you couldn't have written a better script for me personally. Um, when I think about what I wanted to do and how I executed it. So uh, it was brilliant, but I still had the mantle of, you know, scoring a hundred and lose, uh, in a losing World Cup final. So I'm the only one who has done that. So um, not going to wish that to happen to anyone else, but, uh, yeah, it would have been better that you know if you from if you were able to to win that match. But uh, personally, um, it was uh, one of my final moments. For me, the mindset when I walked out, um, having looked at, I I just told myself, you know, I just need to take control of this situation, kind of thing, um, and bat to a tempo um, and and bat positively rather than going because when a new batsman comes in, you can either fall into that same trap or you can change the tempo completely if, if you get going so that was my mindset I, I just told myself I just need to be positive and change this tempo because we were not in that game at that time so Sri Lanka's lowest score in the mandatory power play 31 for one from ball one I remember I'm hitting um, Harbhajan too long on uh, for a single um, everything felt really good the timing you just could hear that sound it just um, I just felt very confident uh, from that first ball and um, after that 
I, I honestly don't think I mistimed uh, a single uh, ball in that knock. It was that control. I was in that kind of zone. And um, I managed to change the tempo. We, we got into a couple of good partnerships. We still, we still lost wickets. But then the two latter partnerships with Nuan and Tisara you know, got us into that um, score of 274. But for me personally, I, I, I just like that tempo that I started with, I just continued with that. And it was one of those innings, one of those days that everything just fell in place. The biggest of stages and the Sri Lankan has delivered. What an innings. Absolutely magnificent. Absolutely brilliant. When I was batting, like when when we in the drinks break, the, the plan was to get to 240, 250 because we were way behind um, at that time and we kept losing wickets. So uh, the plan was to even they send uh, no one early so that he could take on the bowlers and then Tisera came afterwards so uh, the plan was to get to 240 uh, and 250 would have been a bonus but that last few overs we managed to get some big overs going in the slot whacked away what a way to end the innings all the way for six momentum for Sri Lanka 18 from the last over they believe Sri Lanka believe so 274 for us was a bit of a bonus and then we knew that you know there's a good score on the board and and in that World Cup there hadn't been any team to have chased down um, that total and especially India hadn't done that either. So so we thought that we were in uh, thinking that the wicket would deteriorate as well because it has happened in the past in that tournament and Indians were also going to bat first if they had won the toss. So we were very confident but unfortunately um, you know, 15 overs into that second innings, um, we realized that the dew was coming in. And we quickly changed our tactics, ball, got our spinners to bowl uh, early to try and negate that and then get some wickets, but it didn't work. The only way we could have taken control of that match was by picking up wickets because we knew that Indian lineup was strong, but um, we just couldn't do that.